Breaking news. Buhari's government knows hideouts of bandits and killer headsmen. Sheik Gumi. Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, all depending on the time we're reaching you guys. Welcome back to our channel. It is so good to have you guys back here again. Thank you once again for all you do for this channel. God bless you, my people. Really appreciate you. We pray that even as you support this channel, God Almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you once again, guys. Yes, my people, as always, we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country. This one is a breaking one. We know the Islamic cleric that everyone has been calling out and presidency to arrest, that he needs to be arrested, the one that has been having meetings with bandits here and there. Earlier on today, he gave reasons justifying them why bandits carry out their actions, why they attack people, why they kidnap. Very unbelievable reasons. Anyway, right now he has come out again. This guy, he's very active. Oh. He's always coming out, always meeting with bandits, always speaking up regarding the insecurity issues we're having in this country right now, presently. You know, the Southwest is even boiling because of um, the Fulani headsman crisis. Right now, Sheikh Gumi has just revealed that Buhari knows the hideout of these bandits. They know where they reside. So what is Buhari talking about? That, so Gumi is saying that, um, you know, when everyone, the Nigerians were all saying that, so if Gumi knows the whereabouts of um, the bandits, why not the uh, uh, federal government arrest him, take him along and ask him to lead us, lead us to where their hideouts are, where they are in the forest, their different locations, the Boko Haram, the Fulani headsmen, the ones that kidnap and all of that. Take us to where they are. Gumi has come out to say that I'm not the only one that knows their whereabouts. Buhari also knows their whereabouts. Presidency knows their whereabouts. So it means so Sibanjo, all of them, they know their whereabouts. It's quite shocking. This was just in an interview that Sheikh Gumi just had that he made this shocking revelation again. This is really getting, is getting serious. And you know what, guys? It's not all adding up. It's not making sense. Why this insecurity issue is not ending? Why it's not finishing? When Buhari was uh, campaigning in 2015, you know, the, the gospel he was preaching, just vote for me. If you vote for me within a couple of months, this um, insecurity issue will be a forgotten um, story. It will be history. No one will hear about it again. He finished his first tenor. This is um, towards the second tenor. We're even talking about 2023 presidential election right now. And he did not do anything about it. And it's so shocking that he knows their whereabouts, but he doesn't want to interfere. He has the business. He knows what he's doing with them, what he will use them to do, the ruling party. Anyway, guys, we'll bring more details um, as to more that um, this uh, Islamic um, sheikh, Islamic cleric Sheikh Gumi has just revealed. But before we carry on, guys, please don't forget to like, share and to subscribe please also click on that notification bell hit the bell until it turns gray we really appreciate you thank you and god bless you controversial islamic cleric sheikh ahmad gumi has accused nigerian government of knowing the hideout of killer headsmen and bandits gumi said that the federal government identifies the bandits and killer headsmen through its aerial view the cleric made the allegations on a channel television program politics today and monitored by Daily Post. Gumi said the government was being careful because it realized the previous approach of killing bandits failed. He stressed that the approach of attacking bandits was creating monsters out of the bandits. Responding to how he located and dialogued with bandits while the government could not, Gumi said, they, the government, know. They see them, they see the bandits by their area view, but the military has learned its lessons. The first approach they had, when they go in and start killing, they realize it's the wrong way and they were producing monsters. They are now very careful. The only element I'm adding now is look, don't just wait and watch, go in and negotiate. Meanwhile, the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, has said the government cannot destroy forests where bandits use as hideouts to carry out their criminal activities. Mohammed had claimed the ecosystem would be affected if the government decided to destroy forests where the camp resides. These people, and they will not seem to amaze us. Lai Mohammed, let's even start with Lai Mohammed 1. So he's claiming that, uh, you know, from even Lai Mohammed's statement, it's not allegations against them anymore. It's not even uh, Gumi's words against theirs. 
Lai Mohammed has stated that you know what we cannot we don't want to attack them we don't want to attack the forest where they look where they reside because of this reason and the flimsy excuse and the 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 very <laughs> I don't know the word to use the excuse is given right now that um, it will affect the ecosystem meaning that they don't even care about the life human lives that are being killed that are being wasted communities are being burnt down erased totally mothers children oh so pathetic and see what Lai Mohammed is talking about anyway Gumi is stating that uh, why are you people sounding as though I'm the only one that meets with uh, and bandits I'm the only one that know their whereabouts because you know he was asked that how did you locate them how did you find their location that was the question he asked that how did you find them and the federal government doesn't know where they are this was on a, a, a television program with channels TV I believe uh, President Mohammed Buhari will see this uh, um, interview that Sheikh Gumi had with um, Channels TV and even Politics Today. He stated, Sheikh Gumi just stated that uh, Buhari, the government, they know where the bandits are, that they know the same way that they located the bandit, that that was the same way he located the bandits, they know where they are, so they are not looking for anyone. So all those stories that Buhari is coming to state that uh, we are trying to get them, we are trying to do this, we are trying to do that, all of those are just lies, lies and lies upon lies. Remember T.Y. Danjuma, a former, uh, a retired major general who came out to speak to Nigerians. He was really bold to say that. I, I would say that very well. It was really bold of him. He said that the Nigerians begin to defend yourself because what Buhari's administration is doing right now is ethnic cleansing. I'm sure you must have heard that word before. That was what C.Y. Danjuma stated. That is ethnic cleansing. That is what they are doing right now. If you don't know, know very well. And don't believe all those um, things that they are saying that, yes, the military, they are about to step out. They are about to go and raid this forest. They are about to go and take over. They are about to do this and that. This is someone that understands how the military operates. A major general, former major general. So he knows if the military really, really want to move. And if we recall that the new service chiefs, after Buhari appointed them, if you remember the word he told them, say you guys have to be loyal to me. So imagine if these service chiefs, the new service chiefs, they even have genuine mind. Let's assume that they have genuine mind of really tackling this insecurity issue. But you know what? They have to do the bid of their master. They have to do their master's bid. President Mohammed Buhari, who does not want this crisis to end? Sheikh Gumi has just made this revelation again that Buhari's government knows the high that of these bandits, yet they sit and do nothing and allow lives to be wasted and lives to be killed guys let's hear your take down below in the comment section it's really sad really really sad but let's hear what you think thank you once again for staying tuned please don't forget to like share and to subscribe till i come your way again with more updates bye for now and god bless